A friend from Athens narrated to me the following incident, to which he was an ear witness, an astrophysicist, visited the saint. We are researching whether the universe is finite. He said, among other things, if there is an end to it, there is. What's that? There is an end to it. How do you know? The scientist asked. To receive the extraordinary answer, I have been there. This particular incident is also documented in the witness of Mr. Panagiotis from Corinthos, titled The Universe is Finite, in the first volume, page 145. Through the giant radio telescopes and space observatories that are in use today, the inquisitive human eye observes and records every movement of the celestial bodies. Thousands of scientists around the world study the composition of the universe, and they are constantly taken aback by the strange phenomena that they discover. At the same time, Colossal sums of money are being spent to train astronauts and to launch and maintain spaceships and satellites. The sciences, astronomy, astrophysics, astronautics, etc. refer to space as a chaos of hundreds of billions of galaxies, each one with hundreds of billions of suns. The dizzying distances therein, over 13.5 billion light years, make it seem infinite and forever inaccessible. In order to approach a neighboring galaxy, we would need to travel at the speed of light for millions of years. Modern scientific research is unable to provide clear answers about the universe. Full of mysteries and inconceivable in size, it persists as a singular mystery, since only 4% of its mass is observable, while elusive dark matter, which is not understood by us, accounts for the remaining 96%. Unlettered and poor, Father Porfirios traveled and solved the mystery. The universe is finite. It was created from zero out of God's great love for man, revealing his omnipotence. For the saint, all natural laws and barriers collapsed. He used to say that when Christ enters your soul, then the soul changes and it lives everywhere. It lives in the stars. It lives in the chaos. It lives in the universe. It lives. 